Just wanted to make a quickie video um, of something I just figured out for myself in here. I have a Johnson Red Chainsaw. It's not the professional model, it's the one you get at uh, Tractor Supply. And I needed to get the clutch off to work on the oiler. And the owner's manual was no help whatsoever. I went online, everybody that showed how to remove the clutch had some special tool you gotta get. Uh, I live in the country, it's a long drive to get anything serviced or to go buy anything. Um, so I just thought, okay, there's gotta be a way to remo remove this thing uh, based on what I have already. You have to block up the piston so that the uh, piston won't move in and out. That'll kind of seize the thing up while you're working on it. You pull the spark plug and jam it full of rope. Stuff it full so that it can't move anymore. And all I did was take a lever, a piece of hardwood, and I measured the distance from here to here. And I put two screws or two bolts or whatever so that they would fit in there and I'd have a long lever to, to turn it and see I knew I didn't want to bend either of these two springs I didn't want to break anything in my attempt but you can see this piece and this piece on the clutch are quite heavy and I doubt if I could uh, damage it or anything like that so that's what I did and by gosh it worked and that saved me a bit of money and a trip to the store and a bunch of time. I just put that in there. The only thing about this is that you do have to um, you do have to turn it pretty hard, and there doesn't seem to be any good way to secure uh, a chainsaw onto a bench because you got the spring mounts there that make it so you the motor is not rigid. So you just got to hold it against your body and give it a good turn, and I got the clutch off. Maybe this will help some of you. So the reason why I had to get the clutch off in the first place was because the oiler quit working. And uh, this is the oil pump right here. This fluted screw right here is turned when, when the shaft turns to drive the chain. There is this thing that fits over the top of it. On the inside of that are these screws. And these screws fit into that fluting to turn it. And the reason why my oiler isn't working anymore is because it's got this little worn away or melted or burnt part. Can you see in there in between? That keeps it from revolving around the fluted screw and that's why my oiler doesn't work. And that will make your saw run really hot. So. Uh, when something doesn't work on a tool, it's usually because of some cheap-ass piece of plastic. i got to find a replacement for this.